Uh, and now I would like to invite our last speaker for today, Ms. Marwa Jaffar Sheikh, to give her talk titled Enterprise Research Planning Initiative for the Book Rental System for GCC Students. Ms. Marwa, please take the floor. I would like to thank you for giving me this chance. I am glad for standing over here to give you a brief about our final project. My name is Marwa Sheikh. I am from Business and Finance College, MIS Department. Today I am here to present our book rental system, which was implemented by our team. Me, Muhammad Darwish, Hussein Ahmed, and Qasim Ali. Since there are several book rental systems in the world, which are characterized by their development and high performance, we found it necessary to build and implement book rental system in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which will be used to sell used books in their position of a student, which will be offered by the most of the required characteristics in any similar system. As we can see here, in a previous business model, we have multiple processes to be done. Going to bookshop, registration, search for book confirmation and payment. At the end, the user will be able to get the book. In a new business model, all these processes are done through the system anytime, anywhere, which is much better than the previous one. Our aim is to, de to develop an effective information system tool that provides access to number of used books for buying or renting. Such information system can help students by connecting them to other students who have used books. This can make learning processes more efficient for students via user-friendly web interface to benefit both end users and book owners. Our objectives are the following. To to create community-based library, to help students make some profit out of their used books or old books, and to make books accessible and affordable for everyone. User requirements. The system must be easy to use, should not be difficult to learn. Provides faster transaction. The input-output screens are designed in user-friendly format that is easy for new users to learn. The language to be used is natural and the ways to understand will be easy. Hardware requirements. The present hardware can be uh, used for keeping only the details of book information. Software requirements. The present software has to be upgraded to a new version and added more software for a uh, book rental system. Strength, save human efforts and to save time. Weakness, low reliability of time delivery. Uh, opportunities, increasing number of online buyers and threats online box selling giants. Here we have data flow diagram level zero. Level zero of DFD shows the external users and actors who use book rental system and have direct relation with the system. It shows that we have four main users of the system, students, book owners, administrators, and IT technical supports. Students have a specific process for searching and getting the book. Book owners have a specific process for providing the book. Administrators have a specific process for manage users and get user profile, while IT technical supports have a specific process for maintain the system. Here, level one of DFD. Level one of DFD shows the main processes that are done mutually between users and book rental system. Those processes are search, add, buy, and rent. The data of these processes is taken from book, payment, buy, and rent data files. The ER diagram. ER diagram shows the main screens of book rental system designed and implemented by our team. It shows user profile, 
that uh, represent registered users in the system. These users are authenticated first by username and password. Then they can search for a book for buying or renting. In addition, user can add a book to the system to be rented or bought later. Each book is registered in book table and each book has a payment that includes a book ID and a price. Here we have some screens of our system. First, we have login page. Uh, the user must enter username and password so he or she will be able to access the system. In next page, we have two options, adding a book or searching for a book. First, we will go to add book page. Uh, in add book page, a user must enter all the required fields and click on submit so the data will be stored in a database. In search page, student or user can search for a specific book by entering book ID only. And this table can help students in finding all information related to uh, available books. Finally, we have payment page. A payment page shows username, book ID, price, and quantity. And we have two options, buy or rent. Renting a price will depend on selected period, uh, while buying a price will be the original price that's specified by book owners. At the end, we are looking to proceeding in the development of the system and make it such a real system in the future since it's very useful for all students and they will be able to achieve better grades. Also, they will be able to save time and money while searching for a specific book. And thank you for listening.